Whoa. <clears throat> what a what up guys, me Confan Trans here and hello Wonsers. What Wonsers? Yeah, Wonsers, which is um slash um once upon a time fans. Welcome Welcome to my episode 10 review, Broken Heart. What an episode it was. What the episode it was? Yes, what the episode it was. Whoa. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. Yeah, it was just a fantastic throughout episode. Yes, at the end, um, Illusionist, Fat Mobus Gunson, and Dark Hook just um, went into the underworld, well, opened the underworld portal. And yeah, every single dark one is ready to strike. On Strawbrook, when Hook said, Welcome to Strawbrook. And yeah, it just closed it like that. And so, what? Is that the episode ended? Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> Dreads by Roman Tron and written by Daniel Hawk and Tez Chen. And yeah. And then it was um, when Emma um, gave every, like, gave. Um, Merida, Merida, what, uh, Rainy, uh, no, Regina, Regina, Mary Margaret, and David, and Henry, of course, and her, Emma, and yeah, getting their memories back, and yeah, it, and Robin as well, and yeah, it was just fantastic, just, and then Emma said, yeah, I know what they're doing. And then what the plan is, and yeah, it was just fantastic. And it explains a lot in the coming up, coming up, um, <clears throat> Finn and just Dark Hook just um, killed Merlin. He killed Merlin, not Emma. He did, and just it just explains a lot how um, um, Emma did it. Just erased all their memories from coming up, and yeah. It was really good and fantastic at the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah, and Hook created the curse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, it did. Oh yeah. What it? <coughs> yeah, it was a really good episode. Fantastic and brilliant at the same time. It was. It was really good and brilliant at the same time. So. Here's the synopsis of the show. In coming up. In the Dark Ones and um, Vaults, the darkness enters Hook and making him remember all the darkest moments of his life, causing him to scream in anger before reforming him outside, outside of the vault as the newest Dark One. Like Emma, he's greeted by a magnificent um, man-stressity of one plus skin who offers Hook the chance to seek revenge on living Rumpus Gimson, but Hook is received to take up the challenge, knowing the Mansifimit is not waiting to give him in to the darkness. David, Mary Margaret, Merlin and others search for Hook near the Vault of the Dark One, but they are t too late as Hook is no longer there. David expresses his frustration by being what odds and um, when they were so close to wiping out the darkness but Mary Margaret um, reminds him that they would have chosen to save their loved ones in any, any situation which Emma did. Merlin tells them that they this was the darkest possible future he saw for Mer uh, Emma that now they fight to um, destroy the darkness that had become much more difficult Merlin sends Sir Lancelot to find his mother, the Lady of the Lake, as she can help them defend defend the darkness. Merlin heads back to the diner, while others split up to continue their search for Emma and Hook. <coughs> when Hook says that the man Smithman is lying, there is no way to go back to Storybook. The man soon talks him by um um, hallucination actually of um. I don't know. Um, 
by saying that he could use the Dark Curse to return. Red Hook says that he will never to use Emma's heart to chant the curse. The man, um, Sith Nation, um, says for the Dark Ones, there's always a loophole. Suddenly, Emma appears as the other Dark One convinced Hook that they can work together to stop the Darkness by bonding together in love and their kiss causing the madness of Wisconsin to disappear. Late that night, Hook feels the pull of Exile and desperate Emma's claim and disappears. When he calls Emma back, she attempts that she has Exile because Hook told her that she couldn't resist the darkness, making Hook furious with a lack of the trust in him. Hook tells, that, tells her that he had always trusted her and that he was only the one who told Emma's parents that she had decided on her own to not crush Meredith's heart in the past. Before disappearing later on, Emma is forced to summon him with the exterior factor later to the just conversation angering him even more by the fact that she had used to exterior to force him to come. She um, gives him exterior so that he can be in control of himself and they have a kiss. <coughs> it's soon revealed that seconds after Merlin made the message, yes, that would be later received in Storybook. Cook appears to ask for a spell with allowing him to return to Storybook, seek, seek revenge on gold. Merlin says that this is impossible since the only spell that could do this was the Dark Curse, but he could have to crush the heart of the thing they might love most and try it and Hook will never kill Emma. Hook then takes Merlin's heart and then the man in the middle of Romskin skin morphs into Numere who appears to see Hook crush the heart. Emma arrives to devastate to find that Hook has tricked her when Emma sees Numere she's confused. Numere explains that he, when Hook crushes Merlin's heart it all counts her crushing his heart and since she is in all the dark ones which will allow Hook's curse to work. Emma tries to disappoint convince Hook to stop telling him that he doesn't need revenge and that his happy ending was with Emma. She warns Hook that if he crushes Merlin's heart, he will destroy his happy ending. However, Hook states that it's Popeyes. Kinnigan Jones had fallen in love with her, claiming that his formal self died. She turned him into the Dark One, then he suddenly crushes Merlin's heart in his hands. <coughs> and in act to the curse. Then Emma tells Merlin that she was sorry before devastating his body and telling him to rest in peace. Um, but unable to stop the curse and heartbroken Emma knocks Hook out before using the dream cursor to erase the memories of Hook and pretend prevent him from remembering why he cast the curse. Then at the defense of the middle of Rob Skinson, Emma brings her parents, Henry, Regina, Robin, Selena, Room in the rest of the magic imprint of Cotham, back to Granny's diner and an unconscious state. Before using the dream cutter to erase all their memories to add a forgetting combat to the curse that to keep Hook from remembering that he was ever a dark one. Mira Exterra's fracture is returned to the stone much to shock Arthur and Guinevere. Points out the cloud of the curse which Emma states that was the darkest m of magic. Then Merida, Arthur, Guinevere took on the purple cloud of the darkness and ungoffs Gam Camelot. Yeah that was just brilliant scene. Yeah, it was just brilliant. <coughs> so, present day. At Emma's help, Emma's home, Hook is now on board with the Dark One's powers and starts to embrace his new life in darkness. As Selena watches in the late of, um, front of immobile Emma, upset over she did to him, Hook takes the Dreamcast and erase um, Emma's memories of the events in the storybook. While Selena places the anti magic cuffs on her, Mary Margaret, David, Henry, Regina arrive to see Emma powerless. She tells them 
about Hook and the reason they can simply use the dream catchers to original their memories and find out what Hook's plans are. But Hook can take in all the dream catchers at the pawn shop. Hook shows up to the challenge guards to a battle on the Johnny Roger so that can finally get revenge given gold a countless for use the battle while hook wins extra whereas gold and emma at bell alert the others about hook's challenge the debit about the where, wherever they should leave the cuffs on emma with objects from henry the green leave her at the house with cuffs and they deserve to plan to stop hook Selena heads to hospital to find her child, but only only finds only Regina to tell her that the child was in Robin's is Robin's and that her incident has ended. However, she allows Selena to meet Robin with the baby back at their home, vowing they will never be a family. Robin tells Selena he will allow her to visit the child, as whether he or Regina are present. Selena then has her first bonding moment with her new baby. Um, Regina um, asks Meredith to keep an eye on Emma only to have Hook appear in front of the archer and knock her out. When Emma asks Hook what he has planned on doing he replies by saying that since he was the dark one he was a free man and a slow revenge on Mr Gold who says that he's no longer bond by love or by Emma's um, distracted distraction. As the true goal he goes on and tell that she didn't need any villains to insult her and slate her because she was already good and doing that to herself. She says that each time Emma is in trouble he she pushes away all her loved ones, including Hook, because she thinks that she can solve all her problems or her own and she tells her and the possible that she keep her as an orphan forever. When Emma asks his Hook why she's telling her that, he's telling her that, Hook says that he's doing it because he wants to hurt her like he hurt him before banishing. However, Hook, however Hook's appearance had given Emma enough to the time to escape to Wall Gold and Arsene's distraction Hook during the upcoming duo so they can retrieve the dream catchers. <coughs> Emma then teams up with Henry to form Operation Cobra Part 2. Henry offers to create a location spell which leads them to serve with the fence building on board. On board the Johnny Roger, Hook and Gold start their battle with Hook using magic to repair Gold's crippled leg to give him a fair fight. This gives Henry and Emma enough time to the dream to find the dream catchers. Only to discover they are all protected by a spell where Hook backs gold into a corner and draws blood, saying that he will enjoy the final um, blow. Henry decides to trust Emma again, uses the magic potion to remove her cast, which allows her to remove the dream catchers from Hook's protection spell. Back on the ship, Gold is able to take control of the fight when the um, Maleficent of um, Robert Skimson distracts Hook on he, now how he can kill the action, kill the action, Mr. Gold, who sends an operation to drop the weight on Gold and size exterior. When Hook awakes, Gold decides to tell, let Hook live forever. With a memory being beaten by Gold, Hook says that his victory was only temporary and disappears when Gold meets Belle at the well. She infers Gold she wants to step back in the relationship. Aww. She tells him that she spent too many years trying to mend Gold's heart and now she wants to protect her own heart, leaving a heartbroken Rob Skinson at the well. As Emma as Emma and Henry display the dream catchers to everyone and restores their memories, Emma has realised that she as she learns that Hook in turn to lost the jewel to gold so that he could get drop of gold's blood and it turns out that Hook planned to use the blood at the pond for a spell that opens the ball to underworld. Hook opens the ball and summons all the previously dark ones minus one prescription led by Nimaway to add him to destroy the like light 
magic. Yes, it was brilliant. Can't wait for the winter finale. Can't wait for the winter finale. Great performance from Colin and <coughs> and the avocado and Ariella and Jennifer and Jennifer Morrissey and yeah it was fantastic brilliant fan, absolutely brilliant yeah great performance from Colin and, um, and Jennifer <coughs> and yeah it was really good fantastic and brilliant at the same time so breaking up I'm going to the verdict of this episode I'm going to give it um, 9 Point one, 9.2 out of 10 because it was a really good episode and awesome in the same time. Once Upon a Time concludes for uh, no, Once Upon a Time continues next Sunday with the winter finale of course um, next week, next Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC oh yeah it's going to be big I'll put it down below there in the winter finale trailer and Coming up next will be Hollyoaks and then um, Emmerdale and East Enders later tonight. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Once Upon a Time um, reviews. And see you in a bit. Bye.